people always say to me, preach the good news, preach the good news because I'm preaching hellfire. They don't like that I warn people that they're going to hell. Lukewarm Christians, that's not right with Jesus, they hate that word hell and they hate when I preach about hell. They say, oh, you're a false preacher. You need to preach the good news. You need to preach the good news. Well, the good news is Jesus died so that you could be saved from hell. That's the good news. And you wouldn't need good news if there wasn't bad news. You wouldn't need a gospel if there wasn't a hell, a burning hell that Jesus was going to throw you into. Hallelujah. And if you don't repent and come to Jesus, you are going to go to a burning hell. So you can't preach the good news without warning sinners about the bad news. How could the good news be good news if you don't hear about the bad news? Sir, Jesus loves you. Come to him. Get saved. And that's all you tell him? He's going to be like, oh, he loves me? What do I need to be saved from? Well, you need to be saved from hell, sir. You need to repent of your sin. You need to be saved from your sin so you don't go to hell. There's a burning hell, sir. And God sent his son to die for you so that you could be saved from this burning hell. It's everlasting burning. And if you don't come to Jesus, sir, you're going to burn. Everlasting burning. Hallelujah. God sent his son to save you, but you have to come to him. You have to believe on the Lord. You have to believe the gospel. Hallelujah. That's how you preach the good news. Hallelujah. These people need saved because there's a burning hell. Hallelujah. John the Baptist said, who warned you to flee from the wrath that is to come? Hallelujah. We have to warn sinners to flee from the wrath that is to come. Hallelujah. Everlasting burning. We have to preach Jesus Christ and warn people about hell. We have to turn them from the evil ways, but today we have preachers that just go around and they say, oh, God loves you. Let me pray for you. Everything's an entertainment thing. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's all just about entertainment. Get your flesh fluffed up while these people burn in hell. You don't tell them that they need to repent. You don't warn them their sin is what is separating them from God. And Jesus died so that they could be saved. But all you're doing is saying, God loves you. He got a plan for you. And let me pray for you, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah, that does good for you. It fluffs you up. Everybody pats you on the back and says, Hey, brother, you're such a loving, wonderful Christian. Hallelujah. Yeah, you get your flesh fluffed up if you do that. And here comes the preacher of God. Sir, you need to repent. You need to get right with God. You're going to burn in an everlasting burning if you don't get right with God. Jesus died for your sins, sir. But you have to understand that there's a day of judgment coming. And as long as you continue living in sin, the wrath of God abides on you. And sir, I am warning you with urgency, you need to run to Jesus. Ah, you know what they're going to say about that preacher? Oh, that, that preacher, I don't know what he's, he, he, he's preaching. Uh, he's preaching condemnation. He don't love people. That's what they're going to say. It's backwards today. The false prophets are, you know, getting patted on the back and said, oh, that's the good Christian. But the real preachers, the real preachers that love the truth and want to warn the sinners to repent, oh, they're the bad guys. They hate the one that warns about hell. They hate the one that says, look, you have to come to Jesus. Or are you going to perish? Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, you are going to perish. That's what he said. Heaven and earth will pass away. God's word 
will not pass away. Jesus said you are going to burn in everlasting burnings if you don't repent. That's what he said. Hallelujah. Jesus said some terrifying words. But today, people make Jesus out to be this man in a bathrobe that went around hugging everybody and just telling him, telling everybody how much he loves them. And he had, you know, angels floating around on clouds, like little baby angels, little, you know, with halos. Hallelujah. Jesus was a man, a holy man. And he was hated because he preached the truth. Yeah, there was people that loved him that were humble. Hallelujah. But he stood against evil. He stood against the devil. And the world hated him because of that. John 7, 7, Jesus said, The world hates me because I testify to them that their works are evil. Hallelujah. Jesus, with his own words, said the world hates him because he testifies to them that their works are evil. Hallelujah. But today, if you follow the example of our Lord, hallelujah, they will point the finger at you and say, you're the bad guy. If you go around saying, look, that drunkenness is wrong, it's wicked, you need to turn to the Lord, no drunkard will enter into God's kingdom. Oh, you're judging. You're judging. And you warning them about their sin and you want them to repent. And you got to confront the sin. Ephesians 5.11 says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose it. Hallelujah. So you expose it. You use the truth, sir. The Bible says no drunkard will enter the kingdom of God. Sir, the Bible says to be sober minded. Throw the weed bag away. Throw that joint in the garbage and be sober and get right with God. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If you don't repent, sir, you're going to burn in hell. Oh, They'll point their finger and say, oh, you're judging. You're, you're unloving. This is not like Jesus. You're unchristlike. John 7, 7, Jesus said the world hated him because he testified that their works were evil. Hallelujah. He says anyone who lusts with their eyes commits adultery. Hallelujah. That's what he said. If you're going to be angry with people without a cause, he says you are a murderer. He was testifying to them that their works were evil. And he was hated because of it. He rebuked the religious people. He called them children of hell. He called them whitewashed tombs full of dead men's bones. He rebuked the religious people. Oh, if you do that today, oh, oh you're not Christ-like. Jesus would never do that. That's because they don't read the Bible. They're not right with Jesus. Hallelujah. And they don't have a love for the truth. They don't love the truth and they don't love people. They don't want these people to be saved. They want to build YouTube channels. They want pats on the back. They want people to say, oh, you're such a wonderful Christian. Hallelujah. That's what they want. That's why people don't warn about hellfire. That's why people don't preach against sin publicly. Hallelujah. John the, Baptist, John the Baptist publicly preached the wrath of God. Jesus publicly preached the wrath of God. Jesus publicly preached against sin. So what's wrong with you, Christian? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're in the end times, and we need to preach the word of God, and we need to be bold for Jesus. The Antichrist is coming. And we need to stand for the Lord now. We need to be faithful now. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. Be encouraged. This is just a word of encouragement. Preach the word of God. Hallelujah. Warn sinners to repent. Stop being concerned about the opinions of people. Everybody has an opinion. 
you be concerned about the opinion of God. Hallelujah. Live according to God's will. Get in God's word and do what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Jesus said, anyone who desires to follow him must deny themselves and pick up their cross. Hallelujah. That means you need to deny being liked and loved by the world. You need to, be, you need to deny being a people pleaser. Hallelujah. You need to deny caring about what your family is going to think about you. And you need to stand on his word. Hallelujah. Pick up your cross. Bear the reproach of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be blessed today. In Jesus' mighty name.